Hello YouTube, Flight Some Guy here. Welcome to my fourth uh, video in the Learn the Mad Dog series. Today we're going to be talking about the electrical system. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this under 10 minutes, but it's going to be hard because the electrical system in this, as in other aircraft, is pretty complicated. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the overhead panel. Um, um, for now, I'm going to focus in on the electrical system here. Um, tell you what, let's go ahead and power this thing up. So we want battery master on, and we want to twist, and then we turn on the start pump. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and get some ground power going. To get the ground power going, we need to activate the inner phone. Right click here. Connect yes, the GPU, please. Stand by. Okay. GPU connected. We got GPU connected. And last but not least, fire up the GPU. All right. All right. So let's go over some real quick uh, big picture items we need to understand. There are two uh, power systems. In the aircraft, you got the AC system and you got the DC system. Okay, now, like in our car, a car battery is 12 volts. Okay, in this aircraft, the DC system is 28 volts. So, to check to make sure you have enough juice in the DC system, all you need to do is bring this over towards the battery, and we're at 20 something. 28 volts is what you need, and amps is about right there. Okay, so. The DC system, aircraft battery, 28 volts. The AC system is 115 volts. Our homes are about 110, 120. Uh, but the frequency is big, is very different. In our homes, it's 110, 120 at 60 hertz. In the aircraft, it is 115 volts at 400 hertz. All right? There are two, within the AC and the DC systems, there's two subsystems, left and right. Either one can uh, operate the aircraft. Um, they can operate together or they can operate independently. All right. The AC generating system. The AC system is supplied by, are supplied by three generators. You have one generator in the left engine, one generator in the right engine, and one generator in the APU. The APU drives at a constant speed. The engines don't drive at a constant speed. It needs the engine generators need something called a constant speed drive and what that does is uh, when it's turned on no matter how slow or how fast the engine is uh, spinning it produces a steady stream of electricity these two switches manages the constant speed drive on the engine uh, AC generators once they're on once they're on and off these are left and right these are set it and forget it once they're on all it does is it makes sure that it gets a steady stream of electricity from the AC generators in the engines. Right now we're getting power from the ground power unit, okay? And here's where things get kind of complicated. You've heard of this thing called the bus, all right? You get an AC bus and the DC bus and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. As you can see, there are two switches. For In this case, this turns on and off uh, juice from the APU to the electrical AC bus. This turns on and off juice from the GPU to the AC electrical bus. Okay, what the bus is? Think of the bus as a big uh, central distribution system that manages where it gets power from and how it distributes power to the aircraft. In this case, right here, we're getting electricity from the ground power unit. So the ground power unit is powering the bus. All right, so now, to give you a demonstration of how all this crap works, let's go ahead and fire up the APU and then switch over from the GPU to the APU. So we're going to turn on the start pump. And we're going to go ahead and fire up the APU. It's going to take about 45 seconds for all this to get going. And then once this is up, I'm going to go ahead and switch from the ground power unit to the APU. Okay, it's spooling up. 
Once it's settling at 100%, this is going to come on. Okay, now it's on. It's just on. And now, I can go ahead and turn off the ground power unit. Go back up here. Right click. Yes, sir. You're clear to disconnect. Clear to disconnect. Thanks. All right. So, what did that exercise prove? Well, now the bus is being powered by the... Uh, the APU. Now, as you can see, there are two switches here, okay? All right? Either one can power the aircraft, okay? This is left and right. Autopilot. See? In this case, the right one went down, the left one's still up. Autopilot. Either one can power the aircraft. That's the reason why there's a lot of redundancy in the systems. This was the uh, AP, uh, the GPU. This is the APU. Um, for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and turn on one of the engines. So let's go ahead and turn on all of these. And then put that to both. We have bleed air, and that is off. And our pneumatic cross feeds are open. Let's go ahead and start the number two engine. All right, so we're spooling up. All right, so we have the number two engine going. You saw what just happened? The number two engine is now providing juice to the, uh, the AC bus, all right? When you turn on the engine, it automatically does that. We have the APU on, and it's also providing juice to the bus, but it's taking current from the generators. Watch this. I just turned off the right generator. So now we're back on the APU. That's the left generator. By the way, these are reset switches. If you ever, ha if you ever have any issues, you just go ahead and reset it. But right now, I'm getting juice from the generator, APU. I can also turn off the APU here, turn off the generator, Autopilot. and now the aircraft is getting uh, energy or electricity from one of the systems, the left bus system from the APU. That's how you have the redundancy in the system, all right? Now let's just go ahead and do some academic review of what some of these gauges are. This is the left bus AC load. These load meters, you got uh, got the left and you got your right. Displays the load the generator is delivering to distribution system. Scale of one means the unit is working at 100% of the rated load capability. These generator switches simply turn on or off the AC generators in the in the uh, engines. These switches turn on or off electricity to the bus from the various sources. In this case, it's the APU. Down here, it's the ground power. This galley power simply turns on electricity to the galley where the flight attendants uh, prepare the food and have the coffee and whatnot. All right, so we have this switch. AC bus cross tie, open and auto. Obviously, auto is the normal position. Open opens the AC cross tie open opens the AC cross tie relay disconnecting the right and left circuits so essentially here it's normal that disconnects both circuits but you want both circuits to be working together because one provides redundancy for the other the DC bus cross tie open is the position for normal operation that disconnects the DC bus cross tie relay oscillating the DC circuits. Close connects right and left DC bars. Open is normal, auto is normal. These gauges, the DC load meter, they display the load the uh, respective transformers, there's two per circuit, are delivering to the distribution system. Scale of 1.0 means that the units are working at 100% 
load capacity so obviously you don't want it to go over one if it goes over one you're gonna have some issues we are still on the APU we have the left engine going let's go ahead and power down the left engine power down the left engine we are going to simply it's very very hard to see that there we go we'll go ahead and close those let's go back to the overhead and then once we power down we went from the generator of the, the uh, left engine right engine and now we're back on the APU bus all right so hope all this is clear as mud this emergency power button what this does is in case there's a complete loss of all power whether it's a primary battery APU external or the generators once you turn this on it goes ahead and switches on an inverter that provides AC power to the buses from a backup or a backup battery so that you can power the systems now obviously this is an emergency thing it doesn't last very long all right let's go ahead and turn this off some more gauges up here as I said once these guys go to one it's at a hundred percent load anything beyond that you might trip a breaker and here um, we have, I tell you what, let's go ahead and connect the GPU again. All right. GPU, GPU is available. All right, now we have all sorts of redundant systems um, powering the bus. In this case, it's still the APU because these lights are on. Now the APU is not powering the bus, now it's the external. All right, let's go ahead and turn this back on obviously the APU has priority or preference all right so looking at this battery that's our amps that's our volts 28 volts AC volt frequency DC bus volt external power this is the power we're getting from the ex external power this is the power we're getting from the APU now in this case, AC volt frequency, DC bus volt. Whether it's left or right, it just goes to show that whether it's the left system or the right system, we are getting about 28 volts on the DC bus. That shows how much power is coming from the external. That shows how much power is coming from the APU. The more electrical systems you have powered on, the more it's going to uh, put a load on these things. Let me see if I can demonstrate that. How about we turn on the air conditioning? There we go. See, moved for a little bit. See? What that means is, once you, know, it, once you turn it on, it's drawing a lot of current from that bus. So it spikes a little bit. The less current you have on the bus, the lower these are going to go down. The more current you're drawing, the higher it's going to go up. I think that covers everything. That's a very high level description of the electrical system for the MB80. It's a lot more complicated than that, but that's all you really need to know in order to operate the or manage the electricity in the aircraft. And that's all I have. Hope you found this video useful. My name is Flight Sim Guy. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.